YouTube, what's going on, man? It's the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel, so if you're into not only smelling good, but looking good as well, you found the right channel. Make sure you hit subscribe, and don't forget to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well, so that way, anytime a new video is uploaded, you'll get notified. And of course, that's if YouTube feels like notifying you, because for some reason, sometimes they don't. Just saying. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about my favorite tobacco fragrances in my collection. I'm starting a series where I talk about my favorite notes, my top six favorite notes, and the best fragrances in my collection that represent that note. So we're starting with the note of tobacco. Uh, we're going to cover tonka bean. We're going to cover amber, rose patchouli, as well as plum, because right now those are my favorites. All right, so I have 25 fragrances here, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on each fragrance. But I will tell you this, the way that I determined... And I did rank them from 25 to 1. This is not necessarily which is my favorite fragrance. All right, because I will tell you that Pure Havana is on this list. That's one of my favorite design. That is my favorite design of fragrance. If I were just doing it by which fragrance do I like the best, it would have been higher. But this is more so about which fragrance represents the note of tobacco the best. And then how much I like the fragrance was kind of secondary. All right, so I wanted to make sure you guys understood that. But these are 25 of the best tobacco fragrances in my collection. I want to rank them from 25 to number one. Now I do have other fragrances that listed the note of tobacco, but if I didn't really pick it up and tobacco is not one of the main notes and it's really a supportive note or really in the background, I didn't add it to this particular list. But I have 25. I'm excited to do this. I want to see what's on the list. You know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. We got a lot to get through, so let's go. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into it. Now, I do have one honorable mention. Um, most of you know I did, I've done fragrances with Novatis Parfum over the years. And so when I want to include a fragrance from Novatis on a list so that people don't think I'm just, you know, kind of trying to market the brand or just being biased, I always include the Novatis fragrance as and I will mention, and they do have a really great tobacco fragrance in my opinion. It was done in collaboration with Steven uh, from Red Adolescence, and this is called Rage Spirits. All right, and Rage Spirits pretty much is a tobacco fragrance, but if you like a sweeter tobacco fragrance, because this has caramel in it. All right, so again, caramel taco bean, this is a really sweet uh, tobacco-based fragrance, really different from anything else on the list. And you guys know I love sweet fragrances. so. Definitely a tobacco fragrance that, you know, I feel like you guys that like tobacco would need to put your nose on. Again, this one is called Ray Spirits from Novatis Parfums. All right, guys, so number 25. This fragrance is from the brand of Ormond Jane, and this is Mont Tobacco. Mont Tobacco. Now, this fragrance has clary sage and, like, tea magnolia, and... There is a strong tobacco presence, but it's more tobacco leaf. As a matter of fact, there are several fragrances on this list, and these are more towards the end of the list because it's more of that tobacco leaf and not a more authentic tobacco. But if you like tobacco, again, tobacco leaf is very much kind of the same thing. Uh, it's just not, again, as, um, as authentic a smell of tobacco if you're really into tobacco fragrances. But again, it's a really nice fragrance. And that's why it's in the number 25 spot from Oman Jane. This is my tobacco. All right, guys, and in the 24th spot, it is this one, Shergi from Sir Lutens. Shergi. All right, so this is tobacco leaf as well, honey, iris, and, and rose. Again, if we were just rating this off what fragrance I like the best, this would be much higher on the list. But again, just talking about more, getting a more authentic smell of tobacco. Uh, in a fragrance and again it's more of a tobacco leaf fragrance with some hay and iris so it's kind of powdery but it is an amazing fragrance so from the brand of Serge Latines this is Chedigui all right guys and coming in at the number 23 spot uh, of course this is my favorite designer fragrance on the planet okay from the brand of Mugler this is pure 
Havan. Pure Havan, and God, this is uh, this is honey, this is tobacco, cacao, uh, and patchouli. Oh, man. Again, you kind of get that pipe to cherry tobacco thing with this. Again, the, the tobacco here is not as authentic as you're gonna smell with a lot of the other fragrances that are at the front of this list, but it does smell good. You do detect some tobacco here. Uh, but to me, this is more about the honey, the patchouli, and the iris more so than the tobacco. But at the end of the day, I love this fragrance, and again, uh, it is my favorite designer fragrance of all time. But from a designer level, if you're looking for a good tobacco, I highly recommend this one. In the 23rd spot from the brand of Mugler, this is Pure Havon. All right, guys, coming in in the number 22 spot, or the 22nd spot, this one is from the brand of Replica, and this is Jazz Club. This is Jazz Club. This is rum, tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and vetiver. Again, definitely you're going to get a nice tobacco note here. Uh, kind of slight booziness uh, in this one as well. It is, of course, made to uh, replicate what you get when you walk into a jazz club in the 1950s and 60s. That's exactly what you get here. So you get a smoky tobacco here, but again, I got some bangers coming up. And the... Uh, of course, the one through 10 and you know top 20 are really, really good. So on a designer level, again, to me, this is a great tobacco fragrance. If you're looking for one that's a little bit boozy as well, try this one from the brand of Mason Margiela. This is Jazz Club. All right, guys, now coming in in the 21st spot, this one comes from the brand of Initio Parfums, and this is Side Effect. This is Side Effect. You guys know how much I love this fragrance. Uh, there is a tobacco note, but it's not as prominent in this fragrance as the ones you're going to see coming up on this list. This has cinnamon and vanilla and all this stuff going on in here. And again, I do detect a nice tobacco note in here, but the ones that, you know, that made it higher on the list are really more of a great representation of the note of tobacco, but this is really, really good. Again, I don't want to keep saying this and sound like a broken record, but if I were just going by what smells the best, obviously this would be higher on the list. But nonetheless, good representation of tobacco in this fragrance from the brand of Initial Parfums, Side Effect. All right, guys, so now we're going to jump into the top 20. Now, coming in in the 20th spot, this smells phenomenal. This is one of those fragrances that have that apple pie kind of smell to it. You're going to find with uh, the note of tobacco, there are certain notes that pair really well with it that you'll see often. Two of those notes are cinnamon and honey. A lot of tobacco fragrances, you can find both those notes or at least one of those notes paired with the note of tobacco because they just blend really well together. Another fragrance uh, note that you'll find is amber, and I'm going to do, a, uh, of course, a uh, list on amber. This fragrance could go on either one, and that's why it comes in in the 20th spot, because there's as much amber as tobacco here. From the brand of Daniel Hosea, this is Ombre Tobacco, and that's what you get in the name. You know, again, uh, this is one of those fragrances that has cinnamon, a little bit of incense uh, with the tobacco as well as amber. Oh, this smells good. My goodness. Man, listen, the more I smell this fragrance, the more, when I talk about fragrances that have that apple pie smell to it, this moves close to the top of the list. Like when I compare this to Wajan, Wajan doesn't have a tobacco note. And that tobacco note is a game changer with the scent profile, especially with the incense. So in the 20th spot, again, if it was more about the tobacco and not a almost 50-50 between the tobacco and amber, because you may see this on the amber list because it's uh, about 50-50 with the uh Amber and the tobacco, but it's amazing fragrance from the brand of Daniel Hosea. This is Ombre Tobacco. All right, now coming in in the 19th spot, uh, this fragrance comes from the brand of Mancera, and this is Red Tobacco. This is Red Tobacco. This is cinnamon, green apple, and patchouli. Man, this smells good, man. There's some incense in here as well, I think. Uh, this is a really, really good fragrance. It took me a minute to really... Uh, kind of take a liking to this fragrance just because it was so like in your face when you first sprayed it but you know after about that first five minutes when it really starts to settle in this is an amazing tobacco fragrance so check it out the 19th spot from the brand of Mancera this is red tobacco all right guys coming in in the 18th spot again this is not about what fragrance I like the most but it's about the tobacco note really what the tobacco note does in the fragrance really that's what this is about and the 18th spot goes to this fragrance from the brand of Argos. This is Triumph of Bacchus. Triumph of Bacchus. And of course, this is rum, peach, green apple 
with tobacco. So I love what I love about this one is that fruity combination of the peach and the green apple in the opening. So if you're looking for a tobacco fragrance that has a nice fruity component to it, I would highly recommend you look at this fragrance. It is so well done. And uh, I feel crazy with some of these fragrances having it where it is on the list because it's not just about the fragrances, it's about the tobacco. But this is an amazing fragrance from the brand of Argos. You can even check out the straight version of this fragrance as well. And this one is called Triumph of Bacchus. All right, guys, now coming in in the seven, 17th spot, uh, this fragrance is from the brand of Frank Bocklet. I think I'm saying that correctly. And this is just called Tobacco. This is called to Tobacco from Frank Bocklet. This is Plum Clothes, of course, Tobacco, and Tonka Bean. Man, this, for the price, this is probably one of the best values on the list. Probably the best value on the list because you can find this for about 80 bucks most places that you look. I mean, look at the color of the juice. This is a tobacco fragrance through and through, and I love the note of plum. All right, the plum and cloves in here with the Tonka, perfect combination uh, to kind of support that tobacco note. The tobacco is very prominent in this fragrance, but it is balanced so well. And for the price you're gonna pay, this is again, one of the best deals. So check this one out, guys, from the brand of Frank Bocklet. This is called Tobacco. All right, guys, now coming in in the 16th spot. This is a very boozy fragrance. One of the best fragrances ever created, but on the tobacco list, it only comes in at number 16 from the brand of Roger Parfum. This is Creation E. This is Creation E, guys, and this is cognac, vanilla, benzoin, patchouli, and tobacco. Oh, my gosh, man. This is, like I said, one of the best fragrances ever created. I love the booziness here. I love the vanilla benzoin kind of undertone here with the tobacco amazing fragrance again um, just when we talk about tobacco itself the tobacco is a little bit more of a supportive role here because i think the booziness is really what this fragrance is all about but anyway of course you guys know this fragrance is great oh my goodness <laughs> this is so good man from the brand of roger park Rums, there is a good tobacco note in here though this is creation -y. All right, guys, now we're entering to the top 15 here. And number 15 goes to Fan Your Flames from the Chanel. Fan Your Flames. Of course, this is tobacco. Uh, this is coconut. And this is rum. Guys, this is so good. I love the note of tobacco. Uh, like I said, that's one of the great things about the fragrance journey when you really start to understand what notes you like and you get some fragrances in that have your favorite notes in it and this was one of the uh fragrances i got early on in my journey as well with the note of tobacco that absolutely blew me away coconut rum tobacco tonka bean oh this is so good guys that coconut is what makes this fragrance show so unique you gotta put your nose on it perform like a monster as well amazing tobacco fragrance here from the brand of nishane this is fan your flames all right guys i'm coming in in the 14th spot this fragrance comes from the brand of Unique Luxury, and this is called Kutai. This is Kutai. This is whiskey, tobacco, caramel, and nargamota. The nargamota gives this really smoky, incense-y kind of uh, vibe to the fragrance. But again, this is very unique because you have that caramel on here to sweeten it up with the tobacco in here and the whiskey, a very boozy, you know, tobacco kind of combination up top. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. Again. Unique luxury fragrances are straight to parfum, so this thing lasts for years on your skin. <laughs> so check it out if you're looking for good boozy tobacco. This is Kuta. All right, and I think we're at the 13th spot. Lucky number 13 comes from the brand of Bikelian. This is Smoking Hot. Smoking Hot. This is Moss Cinnamon Tobacco, and there's some kind of smoke according to here as well. This fragrance is super smoky. Again, this is a hookah tobacco scent. Tobacco really really smoky tobacco fragrance i love the way the cinnamon is used here sweetening it up just a little bit this thing is absolutely phenomenal it was so hard to do these top 13 fragrances when i talk about how prominent and how photorealistic the smell of tobacco was in these fragrances that's what really the top 13 is about how authentic the tobacco was and how much of a role the tobacco played how prominent it was in the scent this is phenomenal man if you're looking for a good Smoked hookah tobacco. Check this one out from the brand of Killian. This is smoking hot. 
All right, in the 12th spot, this fragrance comes from the brand of Royal Crown. This is Tabac Royale. Tabac Royale, this is clove, cinnamon, heliotrope, and tobacco are some of the main notes. Guys, this, this has to have some musk here. This is really musky as well, really masculine. Like I said, it really, that musk is a sex appeal here, and the tobacco makes it really sexy and masculine. This may not be for everybody, but for guys that really love a masculine fragrance and they love the note of tobacco, you're going to love this stuff. I think you really need to get your nose on it. Not for everybody, just for really mature gentlemen looking for a sexy tobacco fragrance from Royal Crown. Check out Tobacco Royale. And in the 11th spot, one of my favorite fragrances on the planet from the brand of Tom Ford. This is Fougere Platine. Fougere Platine. You're going to get tobacco here, but you're going to get a fougere fragrance so there's a lot of lavender with honey the tobacco honey combination with this typical uh fougere kind of structure on a fragrance absolutely blew me away um i've never smelled anything like this is so unique the way the tobacco is used here because i've never really smelled a fragrance that combines a fougere with tobacco and honey but tom ford Knock this one out of the park. I absolutely love this fragrance. I rock it a lot, man, because it pairs really well with the suit. You talk about a sexy, sexy, masculine fougere with a twist. This stuff is phenomenal. The tobacco note in here is really photorealistic, too. All the fragrances in this top 13, you get a really authentic smell of tobacco. But anyway, check this one out from the brand of Tom Ford. This is probably the most slept on fragrance of all time, in my humble opinion. This is Fougere Platine. All right, guys, we're in the top 10. And in the 10th spot, this fragrance comes from the brand of Jerjoff. This is Naxos. This is Naxos, and for me, simply put, this is tobacco and lavender. Tobacco and lavender. Again, a lot of people over the years have compared this to Pure Havan, and I do get the comparison, but that lavender, lavender note, as I always have said, is a game changer in this scent profile. Gives it this really calming, kind of clean, um, feel to this fragrance and it pairs well with tobacco and cinnamon and stuff like that that's in here this is a masterpiece of a fragrance it's in the 10th spot if you're looking for a great tobacco this is one of those ones that you that every true fragrance connoisseur must put their nose on this is Naxos man when I talk about a top 15 was hard the top 13 really this top 10 just I mean really any given day we could really switch these around but in the ninth spot one of the fragrances that started my love, or really fueled my love for tobacco fragrances. This one's from the brand of Jerjoff. This is Journeyman. This is Journeyman, one of my favorite homages of all time. I love this stuff, man. The tobacco in here, you got the tobacco, but you have incense uh, with that very spicy up top with the Sichuan pepper. And like I said, when I first read the note breakdown and saw it, there was tonka bean in here to sweeten this up. I knew I had to have it. And it was not disappointed at all when I got my hands on this fragrance. Really smoky. I love this sweetness. The tonka bean is a very uh, prominent note, plays a major player. But the tobacco on here, guys, with that Sichuan pepper, something. This is magical. Seriously, guys, listen. I will say tobacco fragrances, a lot of them may not be for everybody. But if you love tobacco, this is a must smell. From the brand of Amwise, this is Journeyman. All right, guys, and coming in in the eighth spot, this fragrance is another one I got early on in my journey when I started really loving the note of tobacco. From the brand of Parfums de Marley, this is Herod. Herod, love this stuff, guys. This is tobacco paired with cinnamon, vanilla, and iso -E super, all right? So that iso -E super really helps to kind of push the other notes uh, in this fragrance, and primarily, it is uh, the tobacco that it really enhances. A classic and amazing tobacco fragrance. That's why it's in the top 10 from the brand apart from the Marley. This is here. All right, guys, coming in in the seventh spot, these top seven fragrances, when I talk about authentic smell of tobacco, can't go wrong with any of them. From the brand of Guerlain, this is Tobacco Honey. Tobacco Honey, this is Honey Cloves Anise. A little bit of sesame uh, with the tobacco as well. But primarily what you're going to get in this is exactly what the name says, tobacco and honey. Now, the anise is very prominent as well, 
because it really gives that licorice -y kind of thickness to this fragrance but it smells great if you love honey and tobacco i will tell you you must love both of those notes to like this fragrance because they are hot and heavy in here you're gonna love this from the brand of girl line it is so well done this is tobacco honey all right guys and this fragrance is coming in in the sixth spot right outside of the top five from the brand of tom ford again we're gonna go with tobacco oud tobacco new oud and as the name indicates you got whiskey oud patchouli vanilla and tobacco i oh, mean this For me, it smells so good, man. Uh, this smells so good, man. This thing right here is the epitome of sexy, man. This is the epitome of sexy. If I'm going somewhere like a a uh, like a speakeasy lounge or someplace, I'm gonna be smoking some cigars, like a cigar bar or something. This is what you gotta wear, man. This is what you gotta wear. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. Very authentic tobacco note here. That's why it's in the six spot, just outside the top five from the Brown Town Four Tobacco Oud. All right, guys, the top five coming in in the fifth spot. The fragrance comes from the brand of Christian Dior, the La Collection Privé Collection. This is Tobacco Lore. Tobacco Lore. This is Tobacco, Honey, Peach, Plum, and Amber. I always talk about how certain fruit notes are seductive. Peach, plum, passion fruit. This has peach and plum here. This thing is super sexy. It's smoky. And of course you have that beautiful note of tobacco in this fragrance. This is absolutely next level, man. Like I said, this top five is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I have no idea how I ranked these, but I did. So right now, this comes in in the fifth spot from the brand of Christian Dior. Guys, if you like tobacco, you got to put your nose on tobacco lore. All right, guys. Now, coming in in the fourth spot, this is probably the least talked about fragrance on this entire list. All right? But if you're talking about tobacco, you're, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a more authentic smell of tobacco than any fragrance I've ever put my nose on. This comes in in the fourth spot, another fragrance from the brand of Royal Crown. This is called Habanos. This is called Habanos. This is tobacco, tobacco leaf, iris, vanilla, and musk. And I'm going to tell you guys, these Royal Crown fragrances are expensive. And if you don't like tobacco, don't even think about this one. <laughs> and like I said, this is really tobacco. That's exactly what this smells like. Now, again, it is a little bit powdery. As you can see, there's iris here. There's some musk and things like that going on. But this is all about tobacco. That's why it's in the top five. That's why it's in the fourth spot. Any true connoisseur of fragrances that loves tobacco has to smell this thing to understand how good this is. From the brand of Royal Crown, gotta get your nose on this one, all right? This one is called Habanos. All right, and in the third spot, I'm only gonna give you guys two notes because really, y'all don't really need to talk about anything else in this fragrance. From the brand of Bodicea, the Victorious, Tobacco Sapphire. Tobacco Sapphire. And really, this is about tobacco and cinnamon to my nose. Tobacco and cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon in the opening, but just as much, but a little bit more, actually, when it starts to dry down, as much as it is about that cinnamon in the opening, it is about tobacco through and through. There's tobacco in the opening, mid, and on the dry down of this fragrance. And it smells absolutely heavenly. Again, this is not for everybody. But tobacco lovers must try. From the brand of Bodicea Victorious. Tobacco. Sapphire. All right, guys, and coming in in the number two spot. From the brand of Amouage. Royal Tobacco. Royal Tobacco. Tobacco, Albinum, Anise, Birch Tar. Authentic tobacco. Authentic tobacco. Really, really smoky. Almost this coniferous smell that you get from this one. Very green. Uh, some earthy aspects to this as well. But 
Man, you talk about tobacco done to perfection. Mr. Cecile Zaroki and knocked this one out of the park for Amwash. It's in a number two spot because, again, when you talk about authentic tobacco, really hard to beat this one. On the brand of Amwash, Royal Tobacco. And at the end of the day, the number one uh, fragrance on my tobacco list comes in at number one because it's everything I talked about. It's authentic tobacco smell, and I love the scent profile, and it's just one of my favorites. From the brand of Tom Ford, Tobacco Bunny. Tobacco Bunny, you know what you get here. Tobacco, dried fruits, vanilla. This thing is just absolutely phenomenal when you talk about tobacco fragrances. Another one that I got early on in my journey, and this was the one that solidified my love for tobacco. Sexy, amazing. You think about any adjective thing, any positive adjective uh, or descriptive word, to me, used to describe a fragrance, that's what this is. Love this stuff, that's why it's in the number one spot in my tobacco fragrance collection from the Randall Town Ford Tobacco Bunny. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you, again, my top 25 tobacco fragrances in my collection. What are some other amazing tobacco fragrances that I did not mention that you may have in your collection? I sincerely would love to hear from you down in the comments section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. Love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.